Hey y'all, welcome to Happy Art Creations and welcome to my today. I'm so glad you chose to come and visit with me. You are always welcome. Welcome. All right, today I'm going to be a continuance of my super duper Dutch bloom pour spin, whatever you call it. I'm going to have to come up with a name so everybody knows this is what I'm talking about, but this is what I'm doing. I'm going to go over my colors real quick just because you need to know and then I'll have to worry about talking about them later. Y'all, this is where I, I put, I don't normally put my colors in my description. So please enjoy the video and get these colors written down because sometimes it just takes forever to write them down. Then I forget what colors I've used when I put them away. So that's really the main reason is because I forget. This here is uh, Liquitex, base, Liquitex uh, Heavy Base Light Emerald Green. That's going to be part of my Dutch. Of course, Montmartre Gold, Glorious Gold. I have got a dark violet extra um, Liquitex with a little bit of black in it to make it very dark. Um, this is a mixture of, <laughs> okay, this has Naked Fusion, uh, Naked Fusion 24 karat gold, uh, FX Pearl. What is that called? New Liberty, but it's really just pearl white. And a little bit, I think, is in there of some pearl white Arteza. And I've got it in a little Scooby-Doo here, but um, it doesn't look like it's the same color, but it is. It's because I used this bottle and it hadn't mixed completely. So I'm going to use this up today. This one's all Arteza pearl white, and I am going to use that in the later part also. This here's This is a mixture of Chroma Metals. H bronze and some of the Montmartre gold mixed together to make this beautiful luscious color. Okay, um, I am using a copper mix uh, cell activator today. It is pearl copper gold. It wasn't quite what I wanted exactly. So I added Liquitex. I love my inks, y'all. Acrylic ink, and this is rich bronze, and I added it together, and I'm going to try it out. I also have my um, Payne's Gray and uh, Phalo Blue acrylic ink mixed together. I might use that. And I did make up a, um, a white, pearl white, with a little bit of Amsterdam uh, acrylic ink added into that. No, this isn't pearl white. It is pearl white, but it's actually this one. It is the New Liberty pearl white of the FX. Okay. I don't think I'm going to use that today, but I just wanted to let you know. My bloom colors are these. Let me go over them real quick. This is um, Liquitex Dioxazine Purple Ink. Okay, that's the ink. I made that with the ink. This is my Arteza Electric Purple Plum. This is one that kind of got dumped, so this got dumped the other day. This one got lucky when I dumped it in the back of my thing. This one I have just a little bit of the Arteza Royal Purple. This is Naked Fusion, the pigment uh, Amethyst. It's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Now, what is this one? This one is Master's Touch Gray Purple. Do I have... There is no shiny shiny in that one. And this one is quite glorious. It is Naked Fusion Electric Violet. Now, these are all kind of in the same family. This is my pop. This is a pop. These others are muted, but they are most gorgeous. Okay, so I'm going to set them aside over here out of the way and get started. Okay, here we go. Remember, there's nothing hard about this. This is super duper lots of fun. Okay, so I have got my messy old, let me wipe that off. Okay, there we go. So this is my regular Walmart um, Color Place White House Paint. Okay, that's all it is. And I'm going to add, it is its normal thickness just directly out of the can. Look how thick, that's super thick, y'all. That's a little bit thicker than I want. So what I do is spray, 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 spray. You see that might be just enough and make sure that you stir it up completely it takes water okay i don't want to add floetrol i don't want to add anything but just a little bit of water i scrape my sides i make sure that everything 
Is it quite there yet? No. So I'm going to do half of what I did before. Squirt, squirt. That's all I'm doing, y'all. It's kind of misting it in. Taking it easy. Not too much. Is it almost there? Almost. So it could have taken eight squirts. So let's go ahead and just consider it eight squirts so far. Okay. My painting that I did, um, the last one, um, I did get a good video. I, so far it appears that it's not breaking. The paint seems to be the right consistency. Um, there's this word called funiculation, and that's where the paint breaks. And I had that happen on one of my paintings, not one of these. Let me, let me see if I can find that one. Is it this one? Yeah, this one didn't turn out so good. If you can see right in here, see that? That's called funiculation, and that's actually where the paint is starting to break. Now, I'm going to try to do something on this and make this a background for something and kind of cover up some of the boo-boos because there's too many things that are just too pretty to just say, throw this out. I'm not, and I'm not going to pour over it. I'm going to use it. Okay, so um, I had one other do the same in little places here and there as I was trying to get my... Um, consistency where I wanted it so now I think I do um, is that oh okay nine ten this is probably if I put a tablespoon in here that's probably too saying that's too much so maybe two teaspoons total maybe okay I may have to squirt ten squirts into a, a spoon and see what I get okay we can do that let me get that I got it Dang, man, but we're going to find out exactly. Okay? All right, might as well. This is how we learn, right? I did 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Well, probably. Do I have a teaspoon over her? I do, I do. Or is this a half? This is a half a teaspoon. All right. So, it's about two teaspoons. Boy, was I right. Woo! I did pretty good, y'all. All right. Before I was a registered nurse, I was a pharmacy technician, and I had to compound um, drugs and put things together. So, you kind of get a look at what how some um, things look. I am not nursing now. I had some major surgery, and... Anyhow, I'm just not able to nurse right now, and so there we go. Oop, that's a bubble, not a boog, not a booger. Okay. All right, I'm thinking this is good. I believe this is a seven ounce cup. It's probably six ounces in it, give or take. Okay. Um, good. This is sticking. I had some paint on underneath, and I like it to stick. This here is a gallery wrapped level two. Artist loft, but it's got the 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 more standard size. But on the back, do you see how it's finished? Okay, so that's what this one is. I kind of stepped out and I ran out of my all of my staple back that I was practicing on. They were artisan. I got them in a pack, and they were really good canvases. I really like them actually. Um, I wish they made a made them like this. Because I like the back better. But I don't think they're any better quality or poor quality one way or the other. So this is just more of a finished back and that's why I like it. Alrighty, so here we go. And I buy these when they are on sale. Okay. Y'all don't think you need to put too much. And I try to save just a little so that I can go around edges if I need to. Okay. I am going to pick it up and move it around. Bring it down, bring it over. I'm trying to get the canvas covered before I get the sides. Okay, now remember I did a seven, about a seven ounce, six ounce cup of house paint with about two teaspoons of water to thin this down. This is the Walmart brand. Okay. And 
I want it thin. I am pouring it thin for this technique. The house paint, the benefit though of the house paint, y'all, is that it is thicker than, say, your regular base. Whoa! It is thicker than the regular base. So I'm going to try to pull this this way. So paint rolls to paint. So let's go ahead and get it going. Now we're going to have this poured over. So I'm trying to not add any right this minute. And I think I'm going to... Whoa! House paint is messy. There's nothing but house paint on my thing right here. So that's all I'm worried about there. Let's get this over here. There's no colors on it, so it's not going to mess it up. And besides, when I start doing my thing, it's not going to be a worry. Okay. Yes, I was touching underneath my canvas. You bet I was. Even though I have tape, I can't help but get the middle of these because it just... There we go. All right. Now, I am going to bring it back to the middle as best as possible. As you can see, i got a bubble. Well, I'll be darned, this is really slippery. All right. I think it's because my gloves are. Y'all, it's not normally that bad. Well, it's probably the, the person doing it. <laughs> All right. So anyhow, that looks pretty good. So we're just going to call, call that uh, done. All right. Because I am going to have paint pour over. All right. Oh, my goodness. I got paint all over me. That's why you need a rag. A cloth rag. Paper towels do not do that house paint any good. Okay, y'all. So this one right here, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start with my Dutch pour part. Okay, so here we go. Ready? I'm going to do this. 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 And this. I'm not going to put any there. I'm going to clean up the side of my thing. Ta -da 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 -da. There we go. Now, I'm going to go ahead and add my next dark. Why is it blinking? Low battery. It can't be. It's plugged in. Oh, there we go. Ta-da! I must have pulled the cord. It scared me. I thought, it can't be. It's plugged in. All right, so now I'm going to be putting some of this right here and because it is dark but I want it more up towards this the front the other one I'm not worried about okay now I'm gonna put my pearl white now I'm putting a buffer because I'm gonna be using some green okay and green and purple and green and brown sometimes make mud all right I'll put this right here like that and I'm putting it in the front because that's kind of the way I'm going to be blowing. And why am I putting green? Because I think it's beautiful. And purple and green look good together. All right, I'm going to put, oops, yeah, I read my mind. I'm going to put a green here, green here. And y'all, I am going to use, I've never done this before, this is my, I won't be using much blue, but I think it'll be pretty with this green. Okay, that's the only reason I'm using it. This here is my cell activator for, um, it is the uh, Payne's Gray and uh, Phthalo Blue. That's the Phthalo Blue is the ink. And I'm just putting it on these right here. Okay. Always stir up your cell activator. I use the recipe that has the wood conditioner. Okay. Duh. How about if I try some of the white conditioner too on that? I kind of want to see how it does, y'all. I don't think it's going to cause a problem if I only put it on certain things. Okay, that's my white. That's the only white I'm going to use right there. I'm not going to put the brown, just going to use those colors there. Okay, let me get my blow dryer. Ta-da! That's it. Oh, I didn't put anything here. Such a dingy, dingy doodle. All right, let's put a little bit here, a little bit here. Where'd my blue cell activator go? A little bit back. Oops. 
Not too much. You see how I try to avoid my canvas? It's always best not to pour over your canvas. Where is that? And I'll put that little bit of white. If I'm going to do it on one, I'm going to do it on all so that I see what I see. Do, do, do. Oh, I already put it there. I'm such a ding bad. All right. So we're going to call that one done. Okay. Let me get my select, um, my blow dryer. Okay. Do, 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 do. Plug it in. Move my chair. All right, y'all, here we go. I'm hoping, I feel like I need a brighter color with this. Oh, I didn't put my gold. Ah. Oh, Lord. Mm. There we go. Zip. Zip, oh. Hmm. May have to get more, which I have, so. All right, we're gonna call that done. Here we go. You ready? that my white's working and I was concerned. I was doing the other kind of white. Okay. Well, just in itself, that's pretty. All right, let me get that out of the way. Okay, that's pretty. Step one was to put the slightly watered down house paint. I put two teaspoons of water in my cup of classic Walmart classic ready to use. Then I layered my paints. Now my paints weren't necessarily Dutch pour um, thinness, but I wasn't really concerned about that because I knew they would float okay for what I'm doing. All right. Then I uh, blew them out. I did put a little bit of cell activator on these side places right here. I think it's kind of cool. I like that touch a little bit of blue that I see there because I do have some colors that are blue in tone. So that's going to work. Next step, I'm actually going to spin my bloom. I mean my Dutch. So here we go. Spin away. And it is spinning. It is spinning. Oh, I like it. Okay, let's see what it looks like. And I know some of it looks a little goofy, a little muddy, but I want to get some of the paint off. So let me go the other way now, and we'll go the other direction. Because the paint that's coming off is really basically the end. All right. Whoop. All right, that's better. Oh, that came off completely. That's okay. I'm not going to worry about it. I could easily go. Where are you? Do, 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 do. Looky there. You can do that too. Well, I'm kind of sad about that, but that's okay. There's two places, and I'll just do something different there. All right. So let me move that out of the way. That out of the way. Bring that up. Lid on. Now I'm gonna bring in my blooms. Now I'm going to start off with my dark doxazine purple, and I mention all of these ahead of time. Don't go over more than five blooms on a 12 by 12. If you do, it will be too much, and I promise you it will not look right. Okay? Now I like it that my other purple that I used um, over on my Dutch pour is darker and deeper and richer. It's going to highlight and those colors that I use, the bronze, bronzy gold, um, they really, really look, are going to really look good together and blend with all the others, okay? All right. Does not have to be perfect. Do I want something? No, I'm going to leave it just like it is. Okay, so that's dark. I usually go dark light, dark light. Um... I'm going to use this right here, the next one. Oh, that's pretty. That is pretty. Do, do. Okay. 
Okay, not worried about the splat that happened there. Okay, so now I want to use the next dark is this beautiful Naked Fusion Amethyst. Look at that. And y'all, I'm not worried about what it looks like or anything. I'm just having fun. put this um, I think this is a blue gray and I guess that blue that I put in who knows huh? that just went to all the pieces huh? oh but it is pretty look at this oh I like it not least color is the violet blue it is a fusion color it's a violet -y, purple -y. okay oops so we did that I inked or I dip my finger. Okay. So now I'm going to start with my circle around. This is where I'm going to put my, now, my Dutch pour paint around the outside rim. Okay. Not all of it. I'm going to put my white pearl around. I'm not even worried about how much. I'm just squeezing it around, y'all. See that? Oh, no. It will be forever green tinted if I don't clean that one. <laughs> this is where I'm going to add a little bit of this. And again, it seems like a lot of paint, but it's really not as much as you think. Because we already spun off a bunch. And because of the white paint, you see those cells that it's making? Yeah, it's pretty. Come on, you. <gasps> wow, I hit the bottom that time. <sighs> Y'all, I just feel the need to put some of this on the outside again. There. Okay. My next is the gold, and then my cell activator. Let's see if I can use all of that. Okay, this is my bronze cell activator. You know, I like that blue enough. I'm going to put the blue on and then the bronze. So I'm going to do to dual. Just like that. Try to put my lids back on these like as soon as possible. Okay, always stir. Just put that on top. Just like that. Lid. 
Oh, I gotta wipe that lid off. Okay, y'all. You ready? I hope this turns out. I hope it turns out. These colors are gorgeous together. Here we go. Make sure my hair is where it needs to be. Start on this one. You're gonna blow down and circle it around and then blow out. Starting to bloom. Oop, that one kind of went crazy. Okay, got a little dizzy on that one. Let's see. Here we go. One in the middle. All right. That there is a thump on purpose. All right, pretty. Okay. I'm liking that. We are going to spin it, but not yet. Okay. I need my little towel. All right, I'm letting my cell activator move around. Okay, I'm hoping, and you can see the cells are really, really pretty, really pretty. So, but while I'm waiting, I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of this. Some of this is going to blow off, so you know, I don't even know why I tried to do it <laughs> like that. It does make a little difference, so okay. Ah, you saw that? Let's do that. See, there's more cells coming up. They're popping around. Um, this one is real fine. I've got another one. Let's see if I can find one that's not as fine as that one. I've got oodles of them. Oh, that might be too fat. No, oh, that's sick. Scooby Dooby Doo. Then I got a, you know, the when you you crack nuts and you have the the pointy edges, <laughs> those work too. All right, let's put that. We'll put these here. And you could just use a regular stick if you want it. There we go. That's a little bit better. And I'm using the smaller side. And I'm litting it. And yes, this is part of my Dutch pour that I'm doing. You see these big bubbles? If you don't like the way they look, like this one's a little funky. Let's do it like that. Who says we can't mess it up a little, right? You can do these like that. If you don't like them, you can do them like that. You can go back that way. But I like moving them away. When we spin this, it'll give it a different look. So, let's see. Oh, no, I like that. Any other bubbles that just look out of place? And you can kind of bring it and then gently leave, leave it off. You know, or you just kind of do that. Y'all, it's your art. Go for it. I mean, why not, right? This is pretty, y'all. Here, let's bring that in. That in. I'm trying to bring some definition. Now, your next spin is going to be more gentle than your first couple that you did. 
think I kind of moved it around a little. Man, that's pretty. Here we go. Much more gentle. It's better to do gentle spins on this step than to do big giant monster ones. It's looking very pretty. And see how it's opening up, which I like. I was hoping it would. I'm going to go the other direction just so that I can get a a balance. What do y'all think? Maybe another way that way. And this is what I did on all the others and it's going, it's doing what it it should do. It is absolutely gorgeous. 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 Where did my thingy go? Here it is. Now, do I want to do something? Well, maybe just a little. I could also take my blower. Where are you, blower? This right here. If I choose to. You have to use this very sparingly, but there are times, like I don't know why I did what I did, but I'm not a fan of the way that looks right there. So I'm going to soften it, and I think I can soften it by blowing. Now, I softened it. Now let's let's define it. Let's bring it down. It almost looks like a leaf, <laughs> kinda. I should stop. <laughs> let's stop, right? Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. Do, 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 do. And you can define some of these that it might have gotten a little bit more muddy. See how that opened up right there? But you go from white into light into dark. Here's some, let's see if we can get that in. See how that looks more like a bloom? So let's just continue that. There we go. Here's the space that I can do that. Don't go too far deep. You want to think about how far your bloom is going to be. Now this one, could definitely use it. Too much, y'all. Don't go too deep. It is definitely separating out each flower petal, kinda. Right? Careful of your drip that comes up off of your manipulator. I think this part. That I'm doing right now is such a um, this makes it or breaks it this right here now I am basically done I'm gonna bring this up to you for you to look at I love everything about this it is absolute look at the, the the lacing the cells look at them they're gorgeous it's I wish you could see it in person it's such a um, pretty thing. Um, where's my skinny one? Okay, y'all. More <laughs> look at these right here. They're driving me nuts. Uh, maybe I just need to. Uh, that's better than that little funky. That I had like. Ew. There. Let's do it there here too. I'm just swirling it. If it looks kind of clunky there, then just kind of swirl around it. Because the white might look like that. And this is the white paint coming up underneath. So see that little worm I did? Alright, well let's fix it. Yeah, this one's a little sharper. I have to be careful. 
but I don't want to mess up all of them, but some of them, look at that, oh my gosh, that just really makes this. Right? All those big things that are a little bit, like, too big. See any others that were just like, no, it doesn't catch my eye that way. So I'm going to go ahead and stop and call it done. If you like this and I love it, give me a thumbs up. Go ahead and share with your friends. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Join the fun club that we have here. It's not a club. You don't have to pay. It's free. You ask me questions, I'll be glad, glad to answer anything you have. Well, if I can answer it, let me put it that way. Um, and if you are a subscriber, I thank you so very much. Y'all, we are working towards a thousand uh, subscribers um, on my YouTube page. I've, it's been a journey, and I'm very thankful for every step I've taken with you because y'all have gone with me. And just remember, the whole purpose of why we do that is so that we can learn, we can enjoy one another's presence, even if it's through the YouTube screen. And I want to spark some happy in your heart. I hope I do that when I am sharing my painting with you. And I just, I just suggest you do the same. Spark some happy in someone else's life. You may be the only one that brings happiness or joy into their life today. Y'all, we don't know about tomorrow. We never know about tomorrow. So go ahead and spark some happy in someone's heart today. All right. I'll see you next time here on Happy Art Creations. I'm going to bring you up real quick. I want you to see the shading that's up underneath this right up in here, right there. Oh, my gosh. I hope I don't mess this up. Can you see? Oh, my Lord. Look. Look. It's so pretty. All right, y'all. Love you bunches, and I'll see you next time on Happy Art Creations. To Lou. Goodbye now. Goodbye.